He might walk onto a shot doing that, but I think that's his best chance. Or Pro Boxing fans, we're here in London a day before Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. We're in Trafalgar Square. If you look around us, Dean, there seems to be a good amount of numbers filling out an hour yeah, before the rain. Slowly, right? steady, steady. You know, I think a lot of people's been here for a while, so summer's wavered. But I mean, it's it's a decent turnout in the Trafalgar Square, which they seem to have bought out and put a nice uh, production here today. But I think you know, what I mean, some of them will come back. I know a few people have gone, but it's a good turnout today, and the weather's held up as well. Of course, that's, that's probably the main I think, thing. Uh, Turkey Al Sheikh's done really well. He's paid off the weather, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kept the yeah. lights on. <laughs> uh, if anyone's going to make it happen right now, it's probably Turkey. Uh, um, let's talk about this fight, man. Look, uh, uh, a lot of people are saying, look, Anthony Joshua, the season, he's seasoned in this game. Yeah. 96,000, I remember he's been there, done that, wore the t-shirt. Maybe there's a bit of pressure on Daniel Dubois coming into this fight. Do you see it that way? Um, I think Daniel's an underdog. I don't know, I think more pressure might be on Joshua because they've got him as the favourite, do you know what I mean? So I think Daniel, Daniel might put pressure on himself to deliver. But I mean, it's a good 50-50 fight. I do more favour Joshua for experience experience and the fights he's had but if we look at the past three opponents I think Daniel Dubois has faced more you know season better opposition for me Hergovic Miller and who else did he face there's, there's one more was it Usyk but even though he lost but those three if you look at Joshua's few they was what's the other South poor kid's name uh, yeah and then what's the uh, Hellenius so I think those other names are a little bit better than the, the names he's fought but I mean, look, Joshua, Joshua, he's come back. It's, it, it was a confidence building run he's had, and now he's here fighting for the IBF title, which was stripped off at Usyk. I think, I think it's a great fight. I think, look, for me, Daniel's tough, he's durable, he's got a chin, he can punch. Early, it's going to be one of those pick em ones, whoever hits the target. It will be interesting to see Joshua, if he does get kicked with that right hand. Daniel's got a really good jab. Both have power in their right hands, but I just feel Joshua's been around the block long enough, and he's, what does he want to be? Three-time world champion? Man, it's, it's all for him to be and if you, if, you, if you look in boxing I mean he is boxing is showbiz Joshua brings bums on seats you know what I mean Daniel's not as outspoken so I guess if you look at it for boxing term I think it would do better business for Joshua but I mean a story a fairy tale story would be good for Daniel I think Daniel's got a chance a puncher's chance but I think if he performs like he did in the, um, the Hergovic fight early taking them kind of punishments it's, it's not going to be a good night for him against someone like Joshua Joshua's a killer Joshua he's a closer and I think he's in for a hard night but I think it's a good fight for them good fight and to, however it lasted long it lasted <laughs> you talked about the right hand there uh, David Hayes said listen if Daniel Dubois fights the way for Hegovic he's not going to go well because he was taking a lot of them right hand well, that's what I was just saying previous I'm saying if he fights that kind of fights and takes that kind of puncher and uh, punches Joshua is a finisher and a closer that's what I said previous so it, it's not going to go the distance and, and I think it will go early within like five six rounds I think if he if he performs that if he doesn't move his head and he doesn't doesn't um, tighten up that leaky defense and you know move his head off the line and do something I don't know maybe he wants to take it slow and feel everything up to stand behind his jab slip off the line with his jab and keep it long early and then see because maybe Joshua fades a little bit in the, the second half of the fight I don't know because before sometimes Joshua used to have problems with his fitness but as we've seen previously he stopped a lot of the other guys and he's done 12 rounds many times so I don't know it's it's an interesting one but this is boxing so like I said these are two big punches and potentially I feel like there's going to be a stoppage and I think it, for, for Daniel I think he just needs to go out there and show no respect and try and just put it on Joshua he might walk onto a shot doing that but I think that's his best chance or he could try and box it long and take it round and see if he see if he kind of fades a little bit down the stretch but listen I think it's an interesting fight either way two big hitters someone's going to sleep is this the fight that cements the relationship between Ben Davidson and uh, Anthony Joshua a lot of people that I speak to said listen no I don't I don't think so I think I'd like to see I, I saw him, I saw Joshua um, looking confident, looking like in a better place, but it's against the lower opposition. For me to actually believe there is a nice, harmonious partnership, I'd like to see how he does in a, a trilogy against Usyk. I'd like to see how he does against Tyson Fury, even though we see Tyson Fury, I think Tyson Fury was doing very good in that fight, but some would say he's aging, the the, the, free, the trilogy fights against Jonathan Wilder took his toll. Potentially, father time age is catching up on him, but those fights are still there. If Joshua comes and delivers in those fights, 
fights, then it'll be interesting. Then we can maybe say. But in the fights, he has. We expected Joshua to do that. What, what did we expect? We, what did we expect him to do against Otto Wallin and uh, Robert Helenus? You know what I mean? So, I think you know. It's not, he made a statement. It looked great. But is Joshua back? We'll find out tomorrow. That's part of the history. But that's just part of the story building. There's bigger fights. If he goes and does that against um, Usyk or Tyson Fury, uh, people of that ink, then now we can say, well, you know what? That harmonious relationship, them, um, that solidifies that relationship and he's um, helped his confidence and helped him hone back that killer instinct. But at the minute, it, it, it's done something, I guess. It's igniting something in him. What do you make of Don Charles not being about this week? A lot, you know, I think he said he's got a cold right now, so he doesn't want to be around his fighter. But okay, that's what it is. Hey, <laughs> Spencer, naughty, naughty man. Hey, Spencer, boy. I heard Spencer going ham yesterday, the last couple of days. And um, I'm not sure. I didn't take too much. I didn't see everything, but I did catch a clip yesterday, and Spencer was going in. But look, I think he, 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 they said he'll be here come fight night. So, you know, if he's looking out for his man, if he has got a cold, he doesn't want to pass it on to his fighter because he will hinder him if he catches a flu or something in the fight and that will be something that will go against him obviously that will affect his breathing and so on so maybe he's doing the right thing let's see we know TK Sheikh likes to make the big fights regardless of results sometimes if Anthony Joshua does lose this fight is this still an appetite for the Tyson Fury fight in 2025 is that still a big fight listen I think it is I think Daniel Dubois earned his stripes and he's done really he's done really good because to be honest I said this to him as well you know come more time I say it as it is and I see him and I said, you know what, I bet against you every single time. Miller, Hergovic, all those guys, you know, I, I, I thought they'd beat you. I thought they had a little bit more pedigree. I thought they'd be a little bit more season. But you proved me wrong. Credit to him. Credit to Don. He's gone to Don and he's, you know, he seemed to shape him up in the right form. And obviously with the dad's help, he's given him the confidence and the impetus and he's done. Because he took a lot of punishment in both of those fights early. But Daniel, if you watch that fight, the dad was saying, Daniel in the corner, put it together. And the dad's the, 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 the you know, the rocket up the arse to get him going. You know what I mean? But credit to the dad, man. Big up them, big up the team. And, uh, and, and I, think it's, it's, I think he's done really well. And Don, Don played his part. And Don knows how to nurture him with the dad's help to get the best out of Daniel. And they've done that. And they've got the win and they've now got an IBF heavyweight world champion. He's done that. And he hasn't been able to do that with Derek Chisora, someone who's a, a way more household name. Do you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's just, just a final one before I let you go. Dillian White, Derek Chisora, part three. Obviously, there seems to be a little bit of a back and forth. Uh, what do you make of that one then? They're, make, they're trying to make it happen. I don't know. I heard a little thing about it. Um, I think he briefly, briefly mentioned it. But let's see what happens, man. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, something will come out. Dylan will be back shortly. Just give me uh, the latest on the Black Box promotions. Um, yeah, we're back October the 19th. Back at October with Alfie Cook fighting for the Commonwealth Silver. So, you know, tune in. Come and get tickets. DM. It's going to be a great night. We've got a, a stack card on the night. So, yeah. Big up to you guys. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to yourself. Thank you very much. I think the show started behind us. Yeah, yeah, so, thank you very much.